Hey, my beautiful followers, how is everyone doing? So this is gonna be a really short video. I have not seen you guys in almost a week now, and I was going through withdrawals. I have been super under the weather, super under the weather. I got this cold, flu, stomach, bug, mix, I don't know what the fuck it was, but it is, it definitely took me down for a couple days. Um, today is actually the first day I have my voice back, um, and as you can hear, it's not my normal voice, but it's the first day I can actually talk, and um, like I said, I was going through live stream withdrawals, and I finally was able to get out of bed, and I, I smell nice again, I just took a shower, put on some new comfy clothes, it's been great, it's been great. Um, but it's been interesting because uh, I've had lots of things kind of coming into my world, even just from my bed. Even just from my bed through through different trainings I've been watching, kind of in and out, in between sleep, and then also emails and phone calls and, and some client stuff that has been um, coming in as well. And there has been this very interesting viewpoint coming in about love and and what is love and what isn't love and having trying to control how people act how trying to control how others show up in their life and this it was interesting I got a message this first kind of came into my my knowledge the other day while I'm like I said I'm laying in bed and I'm I'm sick, I'm hacking up my lungs, and um, I got this message uh, about how somebody loves my live streams. However, however, they were like, you know, but why don't you wear makeup? And why don't you, why don't you wear more makeup? And why don't you dress really nice? And, and I even had a client mention to me like, you know, maybe people would take you more seriously if you, you didn't, you know, wear yoga clothes as much in your, your live streams and things. And I went, but that's me. That's my authentic self. Yes, there's times when I'm dressed up to the nines, to the hilt, like I look fucking amazing. And then there's days like today when I'm sick and I don't feel good and I'm in my t-shirt. And then there's days I'm coming home from yoga. And this is my authentic life and I'm not trying to hide from you guys. And so yes, I can, can get dressed up. I can look amazing. But um, some days I'm just just me in my yoga clothes. And it just got me really thinking and processing. And then as I got some emails from some clients about their spouses, it was like, I wish he, she would just do this. I wish he, she would just act like this. Their life would be so much better. I could love them so much more if they basically would fit into this box that I've created fit into this incredibly small box. And when we start to criticize our partners and those we claim to love, that goes for, I'm gonna focus in on our intimate partners, but that goes for our children, for our friends, for our family. It doesn't matter. When we start to say, I love somebody, but the but says that you are falling out of alignment with that love. If you go, I love them, but, well, guess what? You have just created that but is a big barrier in between you and that other person and what is true, unconditional love and positive regard. I've heard so much, I love this, I love this person, but I, I need them to, you know, dress this way. They would look so much better if they, if they, you know, if I came home and, and this is what they looked like or this is how they spoke to me or this and it's not that we need to accept <coughs> accept everything going on with our partner that loving somebody does not mean that we like all of their actions but when we are looking at somebody and we just see their external and we are so focused in on their weight on their makeup, on their dress. What ends up happening is we create a disconnect in that relationship. We're not really seeing that person. And 
I've also recently heard all of these, I'm watching all of these relationships and all of these people claim to love, but really it's about control. When we try to fix somebody, guess what? You're trying to control somebody. Guess what? You have no ability to fix somebody. None. No fucking ability to fix anybody. So this is a hard one that we really struggle to get into our minds. We all know this. We all know that we cannot fix anybody, that everybody has their own personal responsibility. We know this as adults. We've heard it. If you're following me, you are on this path. You know like, oh yeah, no, I can't control anybody but myself. And we verbalize this. We say this. But at the end of the day, we don't surrender to it. We don't surrender to the fact that we really cannot control anybody else's actions. We truly cannot fix anybody else. They are responsible for fixing them. They are the person who is responsible for doing the inner work, for stepping up. If we want somebody to love themselves more, then guess what? The best thing we can do is go internal and start working on ourself and fixing ourself and looking at our own stuff <clears throat> and really doing our own inner work because we model and that is the best way we can help somebody love themselves more or act in in a more authentic way right is to really do our work to do our work because then we're modeling authenticity we're modeling integrity we're modeling this honesty in our lives and we're modeling real love. And sometimes that love is hard love. That's not necessarily saying like, ooh, lovey-dovey love. Sometimes we're talking about that hard, cold truth, truthful kind of love. That's real love. Setting the boundaries, saying no. When we try to fix somebody, when we try to mesh with somebody, when we try to control somebody, when we start taking somebody else's feelings for our own, somebody's emotions, somebody's triggers as our own, taking responsibility, we're actually not just not loving on of ourselves, we're also not loving of that other person. <clears throat> we're hating on that other person, or not hating, we are, we are disconnecting from love with that other person as well because we are not we're not connecting with the truth with the love with where we're when we don't set boundaries boundaries are loving boundaries <coughs> keep us in a loving state and if we're just surrendered to love <coughs> Almost made it through, almost made it through a, without a coughing fit. Um, if we're to surrender to true love, then we have to surrender to first to ourselves and to our truth and our integrity and our authenticity and to really staying aligned with self, to setting healthy boundaries and also to staying in, in our own arena. So if somebody else isn't dressing like we would like them to dress, guess what? That's not our business. That's our business. If somebody isn't taking care of themselves like we want them to, that is not anybody else. That's not our business. That's their business or God's business. It's not our business. If we are trying to fix somebody, guess what? Not in our business. We are now not in our business. And the only place that we can stay in true love with self True love with another is to stay within our own business and then just find that, that energy of love within ourselves, that true, deep, true love. Not this, this love that, that we look out into the world that is enmeshed and needy and clingy or detached and, and distant or conditional. That's not love. But true, truly looking within and touching that, that deeper piece of love within us all that we all have, that is true love. That is surrendering to love. 
And with each and every person, you get what you get. You get what you get. And we have to take people where they are. You cannot, you cannot look at somebody and go, yes, but they have so much potential. So I will just love their potential, but I won't love them where they're at now. I often ask my couples, and this is always an interesting question when I ask my couples clients, where, how, um, what do you love about your partner now? Not 10 years ago, not when you first got together, not two years ago. How do you love your partner right now? <coughs> What do you love about your partner in this time period in your life? What do you love about them? And oftentimes, people struggle. People really struggle. They, they really struggle to come up with reasons they love their partner in this moment. They can think of all these times, but now in this moment, they're going, yeah, but I want to fix this, and I want to fix this, and I want to fix this. And as soon as we get into... I want to fix, I want to change, I want to alter. We are not in love. We are not in a state of love. And so people really struggle with that question. My couples always, always go, like, I actually have to think about that. I have to think about what I love them. I just love them because I love them. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And, and we end up doing some deeper work around that usually. But, but if you're looking at love as enmeshment, if you're looking at it as control, if you're looking at it as trying to fix or change somebody, and if you cannot really love the person with you right this second, then you're not in love with them. You're, you're disconnected from love. And you're disconnected from your love with that person. So, and we take each person where they are at the moment. We, we can oh, we, we just have to take people where they are. Like today, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm in, in a, a, not gross. I actually love this t-shirt. It's super comfy. It's my Sarah fucking Borellis shirt. It's one of my favorite chill out t-shirts. But I'm sick and you have to just take me. The fact that I'm coughing in the middle of life, you take me as I am. When, I'm, when you're in a relationship with somebody, you take that person for where they are right now right now and you have to love them in this moment as they are right now not the potential not the person they were 10 years ago but the person they are right now and if you cannot love somebody the way they are right now then separate from them separate from them because all you're doing at that point is pulling each other down so i am gonna let you guys go because i feel like i i have already challenged the fact that I haven't had a, a massive coughing fit but like I said I've only been talking for a couple for a couple hours really so I'm going to not not strain my voice anymore I'm gonna go get myself some self-love and uh, but I did want to get on here and talk with you people because I was I was like going through withdrawals I miss you guys and I don't get to chat with you uh, so thank you Gregory Hi, everybody who jumped on. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so before I jump off, I have my Tantra Reboot this coming weekend. This coming weekend is Tantra Reboot 101 in Plano. Get your ass here. It's an awesome workshop. <coughs> Only comes around once a year. This is a once a year workshop that I've been doing with Kendall Williams for the last few years. Last few years, it's an amazing workshop. If you're not in the DFW area, I have Solo Tantra coming up. Solo Tantra coming up. That is a three-day global course. It's going to be phenomenal. This course is jam, jam-packed with content. So you are really going to get a good overview of Tantra, really going to learn how to embody it and really start to practice it in your daily life solo. So you don't need a partner for this workshop. Don't message me and go, but do I need a partner? No, it's a solo Tantra workshop. So you can use all of the tools in this workshop with a partner, but this is focused just on you and connecting with you and learning how to move your sexual energy, learning how to embody yourself more. 
So sign up for that. You can find both of those things at my website, addisonbell.net. I'll make sure that the links get posted in a little while once I get off of here for both of those courses. I have a free, I have a, some free courses. I have a live stream at Sarah Secrets going on. I have so much going on. So please check my website, the events page at addisonbell.net, the little events, just click the tab. And you can see all the happenings that I have going on. And other than that, I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Love y'all. Bye.